Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about when we are using join or subquery. So, and here, uh, this all point I already written to save some time. So, and here, the first is to retrieve record from one table and condition based on another table. So, we can use join or subquery. So, and here, I am using the two tables. So, this is the record here inside escort.emp table. And here, this is the record here is called dot dpt table. So add here the one common columns is dpt number. So dpt number inside is called dot emp and uh, uh, dpt number inside is called dot dpt table. Now first see the query or uh, to join. So add here selecting ename. So selecting ename from is called dot emp table. So e is the alias of is called dot emp table. And D is the alias of escort.dpd table. Now hereafter we can use E and D alias. And hereafter we can give E dot dpt number. So E dot dpt number. So this all values here. And D dot dpt number. So add here when E dot dpt number equal to D dot dpt number. So add here when 10 equal to 10. And here 20 equal to 20. 30 equal to 30. So this condition is satisfied and here after d dot d name. So d dot d name there is some values is a cells. So if this condition is satisfied then that loads some records. So add here I am using and operator. So if you are using and operator if both of this condition is true then overall it's true. If any condition is false so it will not uh, display any record. Now let's see the uh, output so see at here it's a displaying allen so at here select ename so it's a displaying allen ward martin bike black turner and james now here after the same output you can get by subquery so select dpt number is called dot dpt so this is at here inner query now let's execute that so it's a displaying 30 because if you execute or uh, if you execute to uh, escort dot dpt select uh, so see at here only dpt number 30 so 30 has sales dname now here so uh, selecting ename from escort here after or uh, dpt number so it this dpt number it's come from is called dot emp number so this value is now returning 30 only so add here so add here this is the emp table and this is the dpt table so when you execute to this inner query so it return only or uh, dpt 30 so let's execute check again check again so add here it's returning dpt number 30 so add here equal operator so this will 10, 20, it's not match, only 30 and 30 match. So there are 6 uh, employees that has 30 Martin Black, Allen, Ward, Turner, Champs. So this name that will display. So let's execute and check. So see at here, Allen, Ward, it's uh, uh, displaying 30, uh, Allen, Ward, and hereafter Martin Black Turner Jams. Martin Black Turner Jams. So these two things add here. So by using subquery, so first when you execute to this query, so first a subquery that executed and this return add here 30. Now this a uh, match dpt number. So that match 20, 10, 20, 30. So 30 is equal here. So it will 10, it will not. So it will check 30 with 30. So there are 6 employees has or uh, dpt number 30 and here enum this all. So these the things here. So either you can use this query here or you can use this query. The output is the same. But if you let's see and here uh, execute this one. So 1% inner join it's uh, happening and here after uh, there is uh, for emp and this is for dpt. Now here after let's uh, execute this one. 
So right here there is so many process. So I think uh, if this is the best uh, for performance wise, I think this is the better. So only there are two and three steps. Now here after uh, to get data from more than two tables. So we should use JAR. So right here if we are getting data from two tables. So right here selecting uh, this is the E. So E is the alias of EMP table and D is the alias of DB table. So here uh, I'm getting I'm reading, retrieving the values E dot enum from EMP table and D dot enum. So this is from uh, DB table. So if add here or uh, to get data from more than two tables, so we should use giant concept. So add here add here score dot EMP. So is the alias of escort dot EMP escort dot DPD D is the alias and here this is the condition at here D name. Now let's execute this query. So see at here sales and this is the employee name. So at here this is the condition sales and here this is the employee. This employee it's so displaying because it's sales equal to so DP number 30. So it match only with this all. So there are six employees so that here when you execute this query so it's a displaying here or six employees so d name is the sales so this is the things now here after uh, you can use so suppose if i'm going to uh, uh, copy this one so this query here this query and when i'm trying to just uh, uh, give at here the uh, column from the another table the table it's come from d name or dpt so when you execute this query, so at here getting the error message. To achieve, to achieve this kind of query, at here, uh, when uh, the data when we want data from more than two tables, so we have to use this query. So this the at here. So select this one. So first we need to use at here select e e name so d dot d name. And you have to creating a layoff now here this one so at here this is also getting the same output but here i'm using uh, at here i'm using inner giant or sub query concept for base to uh, practice or uh, to get data from more than two devils so we should use giant so it's quite simpler than here so it's quite simpler So these are the things about when we are using uh, uh, giant or subquery. So by using a uh, subquery, we can by, by using subquery and giant, we can get the same output. But uh, when the condition it's come, when the uh, when we have to achieve data from more than two tables, so we should go for giant. Okay, we should go for giant, or you can uh, achieve uh, the same output by using subquery. So it's quite complex. So add here. Uh, we have to uh, select enum dname from here creating alias here after this is the inner query with again there is the alias three uh, again here this is the condition here so when you execute this one so this will return at here 30 so this values select a start from and here sales now d and here after uh, d dot dp number so it returning 30 and here there is only so this has the 630 and this has only this 30 and there is one cells. So both are condition is match so that if you execute this query, so this will return uh, 6 employees has the DNA cells. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.